The Medical University of South Carolina organization working to provide assistance to a Texas city impacted by that deadly school shooting. News is Jordan Sayopa tells us about the project that's giving a helping hand to a broken community. Experts here at MUSC are offering assistance to the Uvalde community as they deal with the aftermath of a deadly mass shooting. Today I learned more about these efforts and how they're providing resources from afar. A small Texas community mourns the loss of 19 children and two teachers. And here in the low country, experts are providing support. We've done a lot of research to show that victims certainly are impacted a great deal, but the community as a whole is very impacted. The National Mass Violence Victimization Resource Center at the Medical University of South Carolina offers guidance for victims, survivors, and communities all over the country. Our main goal with our center is to be able to um, pull together a lot of the existing resources that already exist to help um, families, communities, um, and just kind of the whole area to recover and heal after a mass violence incident. After an incident like the Robb Elementary shooting in Uvalde, Texas, professionals at the center work with their national partners to ensure community members get the help they need. For Texas specifically, um, we were able to get in the hands of the governor, the mayor, um, the hospital, the police, the fire, um, kind of all of those organizations, resources on what does um, healing after mass violence look like. So what are the consequences of mass violence? What can you expect kind of among those victims? but then also among the entire community. Some of the resources include tip sheets with contact information for agencies and services who can provide assistance. The resources also let people know what types of symptoms to look for when dealing with a traumatic incident. The goal is to give people a place to turn. And through our partners, through everyone, we're able to say, here, here you go. That way we're not putting it on them to try to even figure out what they need and then to try to find where they're going to, where they can find those things. We will have a list of resources provided by the center linked on our website, counton2.com. Reporting in Charleston, Jordan Sayopa, Count on 2.